with part five. We're going to review and compare the theories of intelligence that we've looked at here. So here we go. Here's the chart. Um, first of all, we're going to look at... Don't do that. We're going to look at Spearman's uh, general intelligence here. Spearman's G factor, as it were. Right in the summary, this is just your basic intelligence. And remember, Spearman's G basically is its underlying intelligence level and that, that affected basically every other part of your intelligence. So if you were just high general intelligence, that you'd be pretty good at everything, right? And then you get really good at things more quickly than somebody at a lower general level. Um, a strength is that different abilities like verbal abilities and spatial abilities tend to be have, have a strong correlation. So you know, it's, it's tends to lead to some support of Spearman here. Um, uh, other consideration, or maybe a weakness, is that human abilities are too, really too diverse to, um, to limit to just one factor, right? We got so many different things that we can be good at, and to, intelligent at, and so maybe just putting it in one uh, pill or one bottle is, is a little too limiting. Um, Thurston's primary mental abilities, he broke this down into seven factors, right? He said seven factors. And, you know, that was word fluency, verbal comprehension, spatial ability, perceptual speed, numerical ability, inductive reasoning, and memory. Right, so all of those seven. Um, a strength is that seven, you know, is more better than one, right? So... Seven's better than one Spearman G factor, so that's a good thing about Thurston's, right? Um, but the other consideration is that even with seven, they it, he tends to cluster the results, right? The, or the results cluster, um, and then that suggests um, an underlying G factor, right? It suggests that. So his results, even though he he broke it up into seven, when you test using his methods, it tends to you know they cluster together, and so you're good at all the things to, uh, together. Um, Gardner's multiple intelligence, he was the guy who did it into eight uh, intelligences and they had, not not, not many of them had to do with um, like book smart or school smart, the traditional intelligence, um, right? He did stuff like intrapersonal intelligence, intrapersonal intelligence, kinesthetic intelligence, stuff like that. Um, and so a strength is that intelligence is more than verbal, right? Is, let's change that, more than verbal and nonverbal and all that good stuff. And mathematical is more than that. Um, and then other abilities are important, right? Other abilities are important. But the problem is, is that is stuff like intrapersonal intelligence, being able to see stuff, is that really an intelligence? Or is that more of like a talent, right? Are some of these, is, is kinesthetic intelligence, bodily kinesthetic intelligence, is that an intelligence or is that a talent? Or is that, so that's a, that's a other consideration with this. And then Sternberg's triarchic is um, three, right? Triarch, three. So he has three. This was analytical, not an, analytical, 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 creative, and practical, right? He did his three, and and the strength is that can be reliably measured. Reliably measured. Uh, other considerations, uh, maybe there's two that we should look at here. One, uh, they may be less independent than Sternberg, although they actually share an underlying G factor. So. Um, so they may be less independent, but they probably, they may share that G factor again. So just like Thurston's, his triarchic make sure it's, if you're creative, you might be more practical and analytical, you know, tends to correlate with each other. And then the second thing is that additional testing is uh, needed, more testing needed to see if they can reliably predict success. So remember one of the things about intelligence is that it can lead to success in life. And so we gotta see whether scoring well in his triarchic is gonna lead you to success.
And so there's just a quick summary, some strengths, some considerations of four of the different intelligence tests that we've talked about. All right, there you go. Thanks.